Let's talk about washing clothes and bed bugs. So a few years ago, I was doing a bed bug inspection on the Upper West Side in New York City, and this couple had a washer and dryer in their apartment. They wanted me to figure out if they still had bed bugs since they had multiple treatments. While I was there, the resident took a bed sheet out of the washer, and luckily I was standing right there because I saw a few bed bugs still alive and crawling after the wash cycle. I quickly instructed the resident to get the sheet into the dryer. Bed bugs don't die in the washing machine. It's the high heat dryer that gets them. The washing machine may kill a few bed bugs through agitation, water submersion, and detergent, but it's not a reliable way to get rid of bed bugs. If you like to hang dry your clothing, then you're risking a bed bug infestation. Even though the washer may have a hot or sanitary setting, once the water gets into the machine and swishes around your clothes, it definitely won't hold the 120 degree temperature. I just want to quickly add in that if you want more bed bug prevention techniques, we have a recent video highlighting more ways to prevent bed bugs. Anyway, a few things to keep in mind about how a dryer works to eliminate bed bugs. You need to put it on the hottest setting. This is usually the sanitary mode or the hottest setting for cotton items. This will get it hot enough to kill bed bugs. If your clothing is wet before putting it in the dryer, it will need to stay in there a lot longer. It's always better to err on the side of caution and keep it in longer. If you're not washing the fabric first and strictly putting them in the dryer to kill any potential bed bugs, then 45 minutes on the hottest setting should do the trick. If you're a more data-driven person and want to know the exact temperature your dryer is getting, you can buy one of those external temperature sensor devices. There's one from the brand called Sensor Push. You can throw this into the dryer with your clothing and then they have an app that hooks wirelessly to the sensor where you can monitor the temperature. We'll link to it in the description in case you want to purchase this temperature sensor device. The next thing to keep in mind is you do not want to pack the dryer. We all know that when a dryer is packed tight, the clothing and sheets will ball up and there may be one damp spot in the center when you finish this dry cycle. If this happens and there are bed bugs on your things, a bed bug can find its way into that one cool center of the fabric and survive the dryer. So we recommend you keep things loose in the dryer and not pack it tight. You may even want to stop it halfway through the cycle and fluff everything up and make sure there's nothing getting tangled up into a ball. Because bed bugs can be picked up just about anywhere, we recommend every time you come home to put your clothing into a high heat dryer or bag it until you can. Now, I definitely understand this may not be practical for most people, but it is the best way to prevent bed bugs from getting hitchhiked into your home. If this video was helpful, it would mean the world to us if you checked out any of our other videos on getting rid of bed bugs.